Hello guys welcome to the session of HP Tronics, remember the Blink program that we wrote in the last video, yeah. That one, we will be uploading that program to the boards we have, and see, how to do that. If you missed that video I will leave the card for that right on top. First, we will be uploading to Uno. So, for that you will be needing this USB 2.0 Type-A to Type-B cable. The same will work for Mega and few other Arduinos. Plug the Type-A N to UPC and Type-B to the programming port of the UNO. Can you see the LED besides the letter L? Yes, that one, that is the built-in LED we are controlling here. And just below that there are two LEDs which are the transmitter and receiver LEDs. They blink when the Arduino sends or receives data on its serial ports. There is even a power LED on the board. Change the board to UNO from the Tools tab, and make sure that the port is selected. Now let's upload the code. Just click on the right arrow button adjacent to the compile one, or press control and then you. The software will compile the code and then upload it. Let's see what happens on the board. You will see the two serial communication LEDs blink as the code gets uploaded. Like the pin number 13 LED these two LEDs are also connected to the digital pins 0 and 1. They too have TX and RX written besides them. Notice the built-in LED blinking at the mentioned delay. Now let's change the delay to 1 4th of a second, that is, 250 milliseconds. You will notice the change on the LED. Now the LED will blink at a faster rate. Now let's get further and upload the same program to Mega. Follow the same steps, but this time choose Arduino Mega in the board selector and make sure that correct port is also selected. This is the Mega, and it's having the same USB 2.0 Type-B port, so, we will use the same cable and connect it. This is the power LED on the board, and these are the similar TX and RX pins as those in UNO, but, notice the three more pairs of serial pins in Mega, which are digital pins 14 to 19. These are the serial LEDs which are internally connected to the serial pair 0, and that is the built-in LED. Now, let's upload the program to the board. Blinking LED indicates that the program is successfully uploaded. Now let's change the blinking delay and re-upload the code. Mission successful. That seemed to be quite easy, and yes it is. But there is a little twist in other boards. First let's talk about Nano. This kit doesn't come with a Type B port, instead it has a mini USB port on it. So, we require a USB 2.0 Type A to mini cable for this one. The mini end will be connected to the board and other Type A to the PC. But that's not enough. If you will go and connect this to the PC, it will not recognize this, as the Arduino IDE only comes with drivers for USB Type B, we will have to manually install the drivers. There is a link for that in the description below. Just click and it will install the setup. After that just click on the setup file and simply follow the instructions. After that is done, open the IDE and connect the Nano to the PC. Now, select Nano from the board selector and select the appropriate port. Now you can upload the sketch to the Nano. That would be all for this video guys. In the next video we will be uploading the sketch to Pro Mini and Lillipad, as those boards don't have any connecting ports through which they could be connected to the PC. So, that we will see in the next video. I'll see you next time.